Once the button is pressed, the robot follows the track as it drops the blocks in the corresponding drop zones. When it is done dropping the blocks, it will go back to the starting area, waiting for a new block to be put into the robot. We had trouble getting the robot started, but we fixed that. We also had trouble getting the robot arm built in the right place, but we moved it and attached it in a better position. The other problem was one that we had in programming, and we fixed those program problems. We had made a canvas exactly the same as the one in the book, only scaled to size, so that our robot can follow the correct path. We also made a working robot, and that is a huge success. We recreated our robot once, and the recreated robot was better. We 3D printed a logo, and it looks very nice because we painted it. We thank OIYRC for letting us use their parts for the competition. This could not have happened without them. Timo Farbach, Nathan Demare, Cameron Walton, Samuel Fauché, Nicolas Terrien, all members of our group, and together we had made this robot. Everyone coded and built together like a family.